After about 24 hours of speculation, it's now official. Jameis Winston is no longer with the New Orleans Saints. Instead, he's going to the Cleveland Browns. Let's talk about this move and what it means for the quarterback room in New Orleans right here on the Straight Up Saints podcast. You're listening to the Straight Up Saints podcast. What is up, Houdat Nation? Welcome back inside another video from the Straight Up Saints podcast. I'm your host. First was Vogel, and as always, we're brought to you by Scott Fickner, Injury Lawyers, and DraftKings Sportsbook. So it was announced about a couple minutes ago from NFL insider Jordan Schultz. He said free agent quarterback Jameis Winston is close to finalizing a one-year deal worth up to $8.7 million with the Browns. He said Winston fielded interest from multiple teams and decided this morning that he's going to Cleveland. Now, from Jameis's perspective, I actually think this is a really good landing spot. Now, he's going to be the backup quarterback. You have Deshaun Watson there as a starter, especially not just because you're hoping if you're Cleveland that he can reach where he was in Houston, but you're paying him a lot of money. They're not going to sit him with a fully guaranteed contract. That said, the Deshaun Watson tenure has not gone well for Cleveland. He's coming off a shoulder injury. If you're Jameis, we saw what Joe Flacco did with the Browns where Deshaun goes down, you get your opportunity, and all of a sudden you have a second chance to revitalize your career. And Jameis is much younger, more talented than Joe Flacco, so he'll have that opportunity potentially if Deshaun misses any time. So I think this landing spot makes a lot of sense for Jameis. The Browns, I think, have a win-now type of team. We just saw them make the playoffs. There's talent there. They just added another talented player in Jerry Judy earlier this offseason. So I think it makes a lot of sense. But obviously you're not here for that. You're here for what it means for the Saints. And before I do that, I want to be pretty fair and respectful and just say I I wish Jameis Winston all the best in Cleveland because there's no reason to feel otherwise about it. Did the Jameis Winston experiment work? No, not really. Um, I still feel like maybe we would have had a better understanding if he doesn't get injured in 2021. How does that season finish? Does Sean Payton get the best out of him? I don't know. But for that stretch where he was the starter and they were five and two, there were some fun, fun moments. Obviously, everything after that was more so frustrating and, you know, tension behind the scenes. But Jameis was always a good teammate. Jameis did great work in the community. And the one thing I love about Jameis is his energy always matched what the city's energy is. And I think it's a big thing about the New Orleans Saints more than other NFL teams. I don't think you could have players on the roster that don't match the city's energy. I just, when that doesn't happen, I don't know, it just doesn't jive. And I think Jameis is the type of guy that always matched and brought it. So, uh, you know, I wish him all the best. I think he is a fun dude. And do I think that, you know, his time as a starter might be done? Possibly. But again, I, I'm still going to wish him well in Cleveland. And, and I hope that he does well. So what does this mean for the Saints quarterback room now that James is out? Well, it brings a big question at the back of quarterback spot. The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here. And DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code BOOT. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-N-Y or text hope and y four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash promos for eligibility and deposit or restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Look, I think the first guy you're going to look at is Jay Kaner. Can he take that next step in year two and go from QB3 to the backup? I don't know per se if that's going to happen, but I think that if the New Orleans Saints are confident in that and feel like Jay can take that next step, then it makes it a little bit easier losing Jameis Winston. Obviously, Hayner's not going to cost much because he's on a rookie quarterback contract, and as a day three pick, that's not very expensive. So financially, that'd actually be good for them, but... You know, you never know. And if you're if you're the Saints, you've invested a lot in Derek Carr. Derek Carr had multiple injuries last season. If he were to miss time, there were there was going into last season the comfortability of if Derek Carr got hurt, you had Jameis. You lose that now. And if you don't feel like Jay Kaner's the guy, then who do you go to get that that backup? I think you're gonna have to look at the market. It's gonna be fascinating because I think the quarterback market has really, really picked up over the last couple of hours. You have Marcus Mariota going to the commanders. You have Sam Darnold going to the Vikings. Now, as we just mentioned, you have uh, Jameis Winston 
going to the Browns. We've also seen Tyrod Taylor go to the Jets. We, I, I guess Ryan Tannehill will be an older name out there, but I don't think Tannehill would go to the Saints. But again, you got to kind of look and you really can't be picky because the options aren't great. Do you look for a guy like a Drew Locke, maybe a Carson Wentz if you're going older? You can't get Brandon Allen, who knows Clint Kubiak because of their time with the 49ers, because the 49ers just re-signed him. So the quarterback market's moving fast, and I'm interested to see how the Saints play it. I think the less aggression means they probably are confident in Jay Kaner. They go get someone in the next day or two, then maybe they're not that confident in Jay Kaner, and that's an insurance option to be the backup. So that's where my mind goes, and I'm very interested to see how that happens. But as of now, you got Derek Carr as your one, obviously, and that will be the case. He'll be your starter. And then Jay Kaner, uh, you know, could the Saints draft a quarterback? Sure, but I don't know if their plan is to go into the season with Carr, a second-year quarterback, and a rookie quarterback. I, I don't know. That's a lot of inexperience, but who knows? Maybe that's the route they choose. But as of now, a lot of question marks for the QB room outside of Derek Carr, and we'll see what happens there. But I wish Jameis all the best in Cleveland, and we'll see when the Saints get on the board and make a move here. But so far, they've been very, fairly quiet. When they do, though, we'll have it here for you at Bucrew Media and the Straight Up Saints podcast, the destination for Who That Nation.